Okay, Crossbow Appreciation Month continues. This video is going to be shot entirely on the computer screen here. I'm going to go through a number of things, three different web pages here, talk about some stuff, and discuss some crossbow-related topics. Specifically, we're talking about targets on this episode of Death by Bungie. I hope that you appreciate this video and the other videos I'm putting out here. I'm trying to put out one video a day for 31 days, so there will be one video, a new video, on a crossbow-related topic each day for the entire month of August, the entire Crossbow Appreciation Month. If you are on our Facebook page, and if you are not on our Facebook page, you should be, so check it out. I'll put a link on here, and you can go to it and check it out if you have Facebook. If you don't, we have one friend of Bungie here, one person who subscribes to the Death by Bungie YouTube channel, who actually activated his Facebook page solely for the purposes of following Death by Bungie. Is that the coolest thing you ever heard of in your life or what? I can't tell you how much I appreciate stuff like that. He and others had commented on our post here that we put up back in July. I put up a post showing some problems I was having with my target. And I was commenting on how I was getting too much penetration. Now, normally, penetration on your crossbow, that's awesome. But when you're target shooting, you want the field point to stop the arrow a little bit better. You want the target to stop the arrow a little bit better so that you're not burying them in the target the way this appears to be. If you look, these are pretty good shots. I'm really liking this one. Dead bullseye there, a little really good there. This one will uh, kill whatever I shoot it at. That's not a problem. So we're sighted in pretty good here, at least when this video, when this picture, rather, was taken when I was shooting that day. Sighted in pretty good, and everything looks pretty good. Now, the problem with that is that these are buried all the way through, and if you look at the other pictures, you can see how much penetration we actually got. That's way too much. I should have this much of the arrow at least sticking out the other side. The problem that that creates is when those arrows start going through there, aside from the fact that they're this can be dangerous and you don't want arrows going beyond the target, the other problem you have is you start peeling off the veins. And when you start peeling off your vein like that, that's a problem. I have, I'm, now, I've sent this up. I did another video about this for Crossbow Appreciation Month. This arrow is getting re-veined, getting a new fletching put on it, so it should be good shape here shortly. But in, And uh, Professor Kent, I like your idea of putting a little bit of super glue on there to glue that down. If I had done that, it may have survived the rest of the target shooting. Who knows? But nonetheless, this uh, is a problem. And what happens is if you get that much penetration... In your targets, you end up losing your veins and you find them in the yard like I did. You can't have that. That's not what I'm going for here. That's not what we want to happen. So if we go back over here on that Facebook page, I had a whole bunch of suggestions here. And I really do appreciate it. A lot of you commented on here. We talked about it. We had one person here, Ron Mann, posted. Ron, you post a lot of stuff on here. I really appreciate your feedback. I really do. I, re I appreciate everybody that participates in this stuff. And if you're interested in crossbows and you're interested in Death by Bungie, boy, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. It's just great stuff. But looking at this, he sent me this link to Cabela's, and I thought, what a great idea for a video. Let's click on that. We'll go over here, and this is the target he's talking about. Now, this is a, it doesn't say it's a crossbow target, but I think it, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work for crossbows because it's, they're all kind of the same in terms of the idea behind them anymore the stopping power and all that sort of thing will work. This is pretty nice. I'm not real interested in the octagonal shape here, the sort of, I like a square target. Although I will tell you that if you're shooting at this target at this angle, your stopping power, you get a lot more use out of a target like this. So this is a definite thing to consider. You would get a lot more use out of it because your arrows are entering at different angles. But the problem with it is, the only problem I see with a target like this, a couple problems, and I'm going to point this out on the next page, because what I did, I went to Cabela's, the website, typed in crossbow target, and brought up 13 different options that old Cabela's has here, and I thought, man, I'll just run right through these, we'll talk about them, each one, tell you what I like, what I don't like, and reasons why I would choose one over the other. Notice that the, the one that Mr. Mann had sent me does not show up here. That one is actually uh, not specifically coming up under crossbow target, but it certainly will work for crossbows. But one of the things I don't like about this target, and I don't like about some of these other targets, is the size of the dots. If you look down here, one of the reasons I would not buy 
the Cabela's Elite Stop crossbow target that's pictured here, is the size of these dots, three, four inches across. Way too big. I'm not interested in that. I do like the idea of having five here, six here, that sort of thing, spreading them out, being able to use even the top of the target appears to be something that could be used for a target. That's awesome. I really like this target except for that. problem with this is, is that I'm not aiming, when I aim at a deer or any other animal when I'm hunting, I am not aiming at a three or four inch wide target. I'm aiming at a very specific spot. So I need a one inch dot is what I'm looking at. I'm looking for something that's like the size of a quarter. Now I could put stickers on there. I could use a marker. I could write on it, that sort of thing, to make it specific. You know, a nice little dot there that I'm aiming at, one little specific dot. So it's not completely out of the question, but I really like this target. And I'm not going to rule it out, but I would have to do a little bit of a paint job on it or put some stickers on it in order to get it to work for me. Now, when you look at these other targets, one thing I don't like about this target, for example, just off the top of it, four or five uh, dots here, these are all right, and they have rings, so like you can tell if you're an inch high, an inch low, all that sort of thing. But why aren't the rings exactly an inch apart? I, I need to know if I need to move my scope one click, two clicks, that sort of thing. I don't need I don't need one green circle that's an inch wide and then an orange circle that's half an inch wide. I need to know measurements. It should have like a tape measure on it for all I care. Like it, it doesn't need to look fancy. It needs to have like very specific markings that allow me to very accurately sight in my crossbow. Maybe I'm too picky. I don't know. But to me, that doesn't that's not as helpful as it could be. It'd be very easy to make this very helpful might not be as pretty, but it would be very helpful. The deer here, this is the outline of a deer. You can see this is the back of the deer, stomach of the deer. We've got the organs here and then the front leg. Um, I don't really like that dot here. I'd like to have that dot a little higher. I don't, but whatever. Everybody's different. You know, and we've got uh, the aiming on a deer videos. I do some of that stuff, but I'll give you my thoughts. I'm going to do some more videos on that topic later this fall as the season, once we get into the season, I think. But this doesn't do me as much good when I'm in the yard sighting in my crossbow, as this does. I need the dots. I need to be sighting in. I need a, a variety of dots here to aim at so that I can sight in my crossbow. So this cross, this target would be off limits for me. really like this one. Now, what I like about this, the small dots with the band around it, right, spread out. Here we got smaller targets here, probably a little too big right there, but still pretty nice. Those block targets, I really like those. Block is the, comp like I always refer to this as a block target, but this is actually the block target. Like this is the company, the, the brand name block target. Bag targets, this, now see, why can't you get a mix? I don't like this target because it's a bag. And I'm not interested in bags because the problem with bags for me is you can't shoot the broadheads at them. They're harder to get the broadheads out, whether you're using fixed or expandables or whatever. They don't last as long with that. At least that's my understanding. If you think differently, please let me know. But I do shoot the broadheads occasionally, and I do that to test them out. I think it's a very important thing to do. When I'm looking at this one, though, look at the grids, one-inch blocks. I bet those are one-inch blocks where I can use the sight in my crossbow perfectly. Boy, I wish I'm so jealous of the face of this target. Why can't I get that on a big square target, top and bottom, all eight sides or whatever, with all those on there? I have one of these. These are fun to have, and they're good to have. And I think that, uh, see, this kind of thing is more useful in this form for me. I would rather shoot at this if I'm going to do sort of aiming from the tree stand, trying to get comfortable with the deer anatomy. I'd rather have one of these than that. I need a square target, a block style target to sight in my crossbow. That's what I'm looking for. This was not so bad, but problem with this guy is um, this is a good looking target. I like this, but it's three out of five stars and we'll click on it here and it, uh, why am I seeing 55 reviews, but only three out of five stars? Um, use only broadheads with this target and use a thin coating of liquid soap on your arrows. Makes it much easier to pull them out of the target. Well, if that's a real problem, that is a good way to do it. Not designed for crossbow bolts with broadheads. The item is not designed for use for crossbow bolts with broadheads. Shot three bolts with muzzy broadheads into target. Had to cut target up to get the bolts out. Don't waste your time or money. That does not sound good. Uh, this one says, I used the target to stop my crossbow bolts, and it did the job, but get three really big, strong friends to help you if you want to get your bolts out. Worthless piece of junk, if you ask me. And at 50 yards with a broadhead, it took two people to get the bolts out. That was a few days ago, and I still can feel it in my shoulders and arms. 
Um, sounds like somebody needs to do start doing push-ups or something. I don't know. But maybe this is just a, really that bad a target. <laughs> it certainly could be. So if it's that hard to get the crossbow arrows out of, then that's a little bit of a problem for me. I, I can understand why people would not be as happy with that item. I've talked about this one. I do like that one. Not ruling that one out either. Here, the big game taker crossbow target, I don't like this right here, this design. It's an arrow. It's a design. It's meant to be pretty. It's meant to be fancy. That's not a big deal to me. I don't know why they focus on that kind of thing. It's not functional. This giant dot and these semi-large dots, I'd like to have a whole bunch of these smaller dots like that. If I had a target that had 10 of these or 12 of these on it, that would be awesome. 10, 12 one-inch dots. I would love to have a target like that. But a giant dot like that doesn't mean no good whatsoever. Having a pretty deer on the side doesn't mean no good. And here's the other thing that's about this. This is the Cabela's brand, Game Taker Crossbow Target. If I go to the Excalibur website, look at this guy. The Excalibur website has a target that looks almost identical. And if you look at it, it's got these giant dots on it. Again, I'm not a big fan of those or this big thing. That would have to be modified in some way to make it functional for me. But it, it's the rounded edges, square, cube-type target. It's got the cloth handle. If you look back here at the Cabela's one, it's basically the same target, just with a different paint job. I'm not sure what the difference in price is. I wonder if we click on this. Excalibur now allows you, allows you if you live in the United States, apparently, you can buy stuff from them. $129. Holy cow, $129 bucks for the Excalibur version of the target. But it's a very it's the same material that I have on my existing Cabela's target that I've all used up here. The one that I was showing you off the Facebook page. But that target almost identical to this. The Cabela's brand is half the price practically of the Excalibur branded model. Neither one of them has the really uh, the perfect dots set up if you ask me, but that's the way it is. Um, this is something I don't like in targets. Again, we got a nice cube here. We got a nice face on it. This is gorgeous. I'm sure this is a beautiful picture. It's very pretty. Uh, it's just a, a very pretty picture of a turkey, and that's awesome. But it does not do me any good for sighting in my crossbow, and that's really the only thing I want this for. I'm not going to put it on the shelf and look at it. The blackout crossbow to archery target, down to three stars there, but again, I don't like these dots. Those are not functional to me. Another bag target, another bag target, another bag target. Really off this list of the ones that they sell at Cabela's, Cabela's Elite Stop crossbow target, but for 130 bucks, I got to go and give it a paint job. I have to add little stickers or something to aim at because I need one inch dots. It doesn't really give me what I need. Strictly for field points, this is a good target. I really like that face, but we're really down to the $100 block, black field logic block crossbow target that I would be using, and I'm not ruling out the... Uh, this dude right here, the uh, Reinhardt 18 and 1 target. So, you got lots of faces, you're shooting different angles. This thing will last a long time. This would be a good 20 yard target where you're stopping arrows, moving it, and as long as you feel comfortable that you're sighted in, I wouldn't feel bad taking shots at this target. The, the problem with that for me is, especially if you live close by and you have neighbors close by, or you're shooting at a place where you, I use a backstop like the barn for a backstop, that sort of thing. But, it, you know, you don't want to miss the target because it's going to destroy, it's going to penetrate a big barn, it's going to do some damage. And if you don't have a backstop, it's, you're going to lose that arrow and never see it again. So you need the square face, in my opinion. I like that. So I'm really leaning toward that target. But not necessarily. The block would do the same job. So that's where I'm at. If you have thoughts on these, if you have targets you like, don't like, things about targets that you like or don't like, please let me know before I purchase one. We'll go from there. I hope that your Crossbow Appreciation Month is going as well as mine is. I'm really enjoying putting all these videos together because it's getting me all excited for the upcoming Crossbow season, which starts here. I will be in early September in Maryland looking for some white-tailed deer down there. Make sure you subscribe. Check out that Facebook page if you haven't already. And until next time... All hail Bungie!